Hey everybody, welcome to the Your Life Blueprint Sound Vibrations. I'm Gandharva. Please share these videos every day if you can. Let people know about the vibrations, the good vibes. Please contribute if you can to this ongoing informational work, this ongoing vibrational work. Thank you very much. It's Monday, and Monday is the day of devotion. Devotion. So it's a lunar energy. When you have the devotional vibration in your relationship area, in your blueprint, like I do, it's a little bit more of a laid back way of relating. It's a lunar way of relating. So not the sun, not that like out there blazing, shining thing. Everybody sees it, everybody notices it. No, it's the moon and not always so noticeable in relationships. Easily forgotten. <laughs> yeah, not noticed so much. You should see me try to get the attention of a waiter in a restaurant. It's just <laughs> not even possible. They just walk right by me and I'm going, uh, 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 uh. So the devotional energy is, it's, it's more like a shy kind of energy. Very understated, soft-spoken, yeah. And if you have this in the spiritual, your main personality then being devotional, like John Coltrane or... Frida Kahlo, then you're almost glowing like the moon though, not like the sun. Moon glow. It had to be moon glow, right? And it gives them, or it gives everyone in the spiritual, the um, path of bhakti yoga, path of devotion. Now traditionally in bhakti yoga, the focus is on a guru, right? You find a guru and you worship them. And they can lead you to your spiritual growth. So everything is given over to the guru in bhakti yoga. All the devotion. Sometimes you give all your money to the guru too. And you just give all your love to that teacher, the guru, the remover of darkness. So that's been very traditional, especially in the East for a long time. Now there are other ways of being a bhakti or being a devotional spiritual person. We could almost say that the guru disciple model is somewhat outdated and not so appropriate for this time that we live in according to the Your Life Blueprint teachings. As my teacher said, the um, friend model of teaching is, is better suited than the guru-disciple model these days. 
But the other way of playing out the devotional energy, spiritually, is through myth and archetype. And specifically, stories, storytelling. Stories bring out the heart, right? Stories open the heart, and the devotion is all about the heart. So check out today, or check in actually, today. With yourself, with your own heart. For someone with the devotional and the spiritual, the heart is the seat of their intuition. And they use the heart, and they use devotion to transcend the heart transcend devotion. So check in with your own devotional heart. How does it feel? Is it open? Is it closed? Is it halfway? The ultimate devotion, of course, is to your own heart to yourself. So spend a little time being devoted to you today. And notice how the heart opens. <laughs>